I'm a beautiful Native American woman because my family loves me. A quarter. So I'll be in your thoughts in that. I am a beautiful Native American woman because I am resilient. Anything that I could conquer, I can do. I am a beautiful Native woman because I love Native people. I'm a beautiful Native American woman because I'm comfortable in my own skin. I am a beautiful Native American woman because I take pride in my culture. I am a beautiful Native American woman because I have all this family, the culture, the history behind me. I've gone through hardships and I've faced adversities and I'm still standing here with a bright vision for my future. You know, I grew up on the Navajo Reservation, so there was a lot of Native women around me, so I didn't really feel like any different. But it was when I left the reservation and then I, I realized that I was different. I realized that I was Native, I realized that I was a woman, and I realized that that there was there was a respect for us as Native women. And I've always known that uh, I belonged and that uh, I know who I am. And I've always felt that uh, I was worth something. I, I feel like me having my connection with my culture makes me have like a lot of self-value and self-worth because I am able to recognize that, that part of me. It's the work and my education that, that established my worth and then I began to value it and build on it. And now owning a business, it's, it's like I determined my worth. And if we want to pass on our language, if we want to pass on our traditions, it all starts within the home. And I would like to see a lot of more Native American women take a lot of pride in who they are. We have to remember that we were created in beauty. We were created in light and love. And each one of us has a very unique gift to offer the world. And we just have to tap into what that is. We're needed. Um, but I also think this piece about not only being able to give love and give care, but to find those moments to receive it is really critical. When I think about what young women need, what I needed, what I know my children are going to need, is that sometimes it's going to be taking, it's going to take us to ask for that help, to give that call to somebody when you're in those times of darkness. Because when you give that call and you reach out to somebody, there is people out there who are going to turn on that light and give you something to reach for, to guide you down that path, despite all of the darkness that you're experiencing. I, I think that one of the things that I, I find most enriching and honoring is when I can promote supporting other women. It's, it's really important that we value each other and that we don't try to bring each other down because we look different or because... Um, somebody's living a different lifestyle than us. It's really important that, you know, we include every single person, every single woman and every single young girl and kind of bring them up and uplift them and let them know just how important they are. You are not only beautiful, but you are loved. And you may not know me or know um, somebody else, but, you know, one day you'll realize that there are people out there that love you unconditionally and will do anything to, to help you get to where you are. What I hope to see now and in the future for Native women is to never lose sight of the fact that we are the centers of our community in so many ways and that we're loved and we're needed and to be reminded of how important that role is. I think it's easy for us to lose sight of that. We have to understand that our roles are very sacred and our lives deserve to be treated as such. I hope that there's many more opportunities, um, particularly in our own tribal governments for women to take leadership roles. Um, in families and culturally, it's a given, but I would like to see more and more young women empowered early to take a stand in their communities. We have value and we have voice. And in raising that voice, that is when we're going to see change move through our communities and through this country. But if we don't stand, who will bring that voice? I hope to see in the future for Native women more empowerment, more feminism, and more equality within our communities and within leadership. What I hope to see now are more Native American women acknowledging that they can go to school and become uh, professionals within their communities. 
I hope to see us working more together, working in unity and collaborating with each other. I hope to see them learning their languages and practicing their cultural ways of life and passing them on to all ages of people within their communities. I think that society sets certain standards of beauty for women. And if you don't meet those standards, it's like you're not enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not skinny enough. You're too skinny. And the same is true for Native women. Because people already have this image in their mind of what a Native woman should look like according to stereotypes. And, it, and then it just becomes this never-ending cycle of disappointment, of not meeting these standards and expectations. And so it becomes really difficult to love yourself and to be kind to yourself and to really create your own identity. And that's what I want to see change. I hope that women allow themselves the opportunity to experience and celebrate their joy, to take charge of their own narrative, and to really celebrate what makes them feel beautiful, even if it is different from what someone else says. Native women have such nurturing, loving souls and sometimes I think we forget to do that. And so what I want to see for Native women is to be able to find their self-power by loving themselves and then sharing that love with others. I think that Native women in particular need to know um, how the strength of our past should empower them in a way that most communities don't get to see. Um, we're by our nature um, communities that have survived and adapted but have inherently stayed true to who we were and that's a gift. I am resilient. I am unique. I'm sacred because women are sacred. I am optimistic. I am Lakota. I am Akmaratham. Chichalagi. I am Bibilam Bayaya. I am Dene. I am Lakota Hunkbapcha. I am love. I am love. I'm loved. To all you beautiful young women and young girls, know that you are beautiful. Each and every one of you have ancestors who believe so much in you that they died protecting the very identity that you hold. Honor their sacrifices and love yourself. Learn your languages and cultures and live your lives beautifully as Indigenous young women. I am beautiful. A wolf, do he? I am beautiful. 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 Oh, oh, I am wash Deppy. I am Tyler Owens, and I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. My name is Whitney Sani, and I am beautiful.